When choosing a lanyard or SRD, it's important to consider your application and calculate the distance of clear fall needed in order for the fall arrest system to activate and keep the worker from making contact with the lower level. Clear fall distance calculations differ depending on the type of connector you plan to use. With a 12-foot extended free fall shock absorbing lanyard, typical clear fall calculations when connected at foot level tie-off take into account the length of the shock absorbing lanyard, the deceleration distance, which is the maximum allowable amount of energy absorber that may pay out during a fall event. You will then need to take into account harness stretch and shifting of the D-ring and the height of the dorsal D-ring. Lastly, add a safety factor to account for other variables, such as an improperly adjusted harness, actual worker height, or worker weight. In this example, the next lower level would need to be 18 and a half feet below the anchor point in order to safely protect the worker. Another consideration is swing fall. Hello. Swing fall occurs when the worker falls while not being directly beneath the overhead anchor point. This can cause the worker to swing into adjacent obstructions rather than dropping straight down. For more information about fall protection or any Falltech products, visit us at falltech.com.